welcome to Rainbow Skies. My name is Ruby J. Shillin, and I'm one of the voice artists for SideQuest Studios. I'm very pleased to introduce you to the game. Rainbow Skies is an RPG with a huge world, an exciting story, and a turn-based battle system. As the game progresses, your characters will encounter hundreds of powerful skills, monsters, and items. There really is a lot to discover. At the beginning, you take on the role of Demian. He's a young fighter from hey. Borville who's about to take the test to become a monster tamer. The silly thing is, he got completely drunk the day before, and now he can barely walk. Lane, his examiner, is very rigorous, so unfortunately he has to take the test anyway. Incidentally, you can rename all the characters if you don't like their given names. You can skip the text in Rainbow Skies if you would rather concentrate on the gameplay and the combat. You can always read up on the important details in your quest book at any time. This is where you can check other information, like where to go next or what happened last, if you need to refresh your memory. Before you start the exam, you have to talk to Kogarus. You can find him in the village, which happens to be located on a flying platform. On the way there, you can collect a few things which can be found along the way. <laughs> Kogarus is Damien's uncle, but Damien doesn't really like him. He finds Kogarus overbearing and too strict. From the sky world of Arca, Damien can look down every day on a moon that appears full of life. He would love to travel there someday, but he knows from the village elder that the moon actually has a poisonous atmosphere, and life is not possible there. So, now things get started. Lane gives Damien a few last pieces of advice, and his first trial battle starts. In Rainbow Skies, battles are turn-based, so you can take as long as you'd like to think about your move. Although that doesn't mean the game is simple, but you will definitely win this first battle. After that comes the next trial battle, this time with three monsters. Damien also manages that, despite his terrible hangover. With the new move and attack function, you can now run and attack without constantly having to switch modes. At the end of each fight, you can see how many experience points you've gained. New levels give you additional hit points and magic points, as well as much more later on in the game. Now comes the last part of the test. Damien must fight alone against the bee. But he gets sloppy and accidentally hits the power generator with his sword. The electric fence fails and all the locked up monsters are released at the same time. They both try to fix the problem right away. But it's not easy because the power generator is inside the mechanical heart, which is locked and inaccessible. Damien grew up with Lane, who's a bit older and never misses the opportunity to make Damien feel like the less informed of the two. But Damien is no fool. He always wants the limelight. He's cocky and brash, so the two are nearly always fighting about something. Finally, they make it to the mechanical heart, where they light a torch. In dungeons, light helps you see better and makes it easier to find hidden treasures. Here, Lane finds his first magic book. In Rainbow Skies, skills are stored in magic books, each skill can be leveled up, and this automatically unlocks more skills. You can buy magic books in stores, but not every character can study every book. Over the course of the game, you can collect many more books and even learn new magic in schools and gain ranks. Most battle skills have a pattern that can be moved and adjusted on the battlefield. During the game, you will come to realize that there are many more subtleties and details. In general, it is a good idea to have a wide range of skills, so you can use the right one in any situation. You 
must search dungeons thoroughly if you want to uncover hidden treasures. A sound and an icon indicate that something is hidden there. Other treasures appear in the world in the form of bags or treasure chests. Ah! At the generator, the boys meet their first yeah. boss monster in the form of a large green slime. In some battles, there are special bonuses that grant extra experience points or an improved attribute. You can save before and after each battle. And even if you lose a battle, you can still continue playing with one hit point. There is no traditional game over in Rainbow Skies. The auto map, which Rainbow Moon players will recognize, has been thoroughly redesigned in Rainbow Skies and now has many new features. All locations, areas, and continent names are displayed directly on the map. Other new additions are the views for hidden treasures, dug up treasures, and exploration progress in each area. You can use links to jump directly to the next quest destination or to the current location. The world map now has an additional zoom level that makes it easier to keep track of things. This zoom level is also available in other big maps. To make sure you know what's going on, you can open up a legend that tells you what the symbols mean. During development, it was very important for us to make sure that all types of players could enjoy the game. That's why you can play the game fast or slow. If you just want to play the main story, you can finish the game in 30 to 40 hours, or you can take over 100 hours to enjoy the wide range of optional content and the interesting end game. A new comprehensive and easy to use menu system gives you quick access to logs, items, statistics, and much more. This is also where you can open the upgrade menu to improve your character's attributes. You do this by assigning skill stones that you get from monsters or upon completing quests. New upgrades are also added automatically when characters level up. Every class has its own upgrade set, each with its own strengths and weaknesses, you can also create a balanced party using the new monster taming feature to put together a balanced group. You can breed and upgrade over a hundred different monster species. The whole thing is so extensive that we can't explain it in detail in this video, although you can read about it in the manual. There are numerous big cities, villages, camps, and dungeons to explore, as well as many more surprises waiting to be discovered. There are also new and improved mini-games, such as fishing, treasure hunts, and the Wheel of Luck lottery. The menu will detail your progress. You can check how many items you have collected and your overall game progress. You can upload everything and compare your achievements with friends online. With the new award system, you can even win extra prizes once you've unlocked certain achievements in the game. There's also a bestiary, statistics, and a comprehensive tutorial system. This is where you can look up just about anything that may be unclear. Incidentally, the main character's appearances change depending on their type of equipment. When it comes to equipment, there really is a lot to choose from. Many of them have hidden properties that are not available in the shops. There are tons of ways for you to further improve your equipment. In the end game, a tough challenge awaits to unlock all the ultimate weapons. Once you've unlocked the blacksmith, you can take materials that you've found or looted from monsters and craft them into your equipment, provided it has spare slots left. The better the equipment, the more available slots it will have. You can also increase the number of slots by using the equipment. As well as improved attributes, 
Equipment can have passive skills or positive conditions. All equipment can be upgraded in terms of rank using crystals. The rank can be seen by the plus numbers after the name of an item. We hope this gave you a good impression of Rainbow Skies. There is so much more to discover than what we've shown you in such a short period of time. So what are you waiting for? Thanks for watching and see you in Rainbow Skies!